there you are. <laughs> hey, buddy. My heart is pounding. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually quite nervous for this. This is gonna be fine, man. You brought wool, yeah? I, you know, I have a good excuse for going down there. You know why? Why? What's up? I, uh, I'm going into the candle business. Oh! I've been making a ton of candles, but getting the string is uh, quite the grind. And I, I think the Deep Dark is full of candles, or the Ancient City, right? Yeah, yeah, there should be a lot down there, so you can kind of skip the crafting process by <laughs> yeah. by stealing save, all the best. Save a tiny bit of time, yeah. My goals are to get Swift Sneak, and I, okay. if there are any unbreaking and mending books, I would like to put those enchantments on my Elytra. But otherwise, if not, then maybe I can buy some from you later. If we only find one Swift Sneak... I'll take the swift sneak and I'll get you all the enchantments you need. Come on down to the pit and uh, let's get started. Because <laughs> you've got a lightra, we can probably just like fly on down there. Yep, let's glide in. This is really going to be like my first real time doing this. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I've done it like in one off little like challenge videos but like not seriously not yeah where i'm like actually trying to take this on so this will be really interesting yeah this is gonna be fun um yeah so i reckon we go around try and do it systematically leave if you can risk leaving like a block in or around the the chest so that you can mark off which ones you've taken like it's way okay. easier to do it that way otherwise you completely get turned around in this place because it's like a it's a, it's a maze right. where half of the stuff looks the same. I'm going to follow you for this first chest. I kind of want to watch and learn. All right, cool. Uh, in that case, I'm going to hop down here. I'm looking around for Shriekers. There's a couple over here. And the trick is, if there's one like this and there's another Shrieker nearby, we just want to place some wool next to that so that when we break this, the sensors over there Locks don't hear the it. So if I break this other one, we should be good, though, because there's no other Shriekers. As long as you can't see any nearby, yeah. Oh. Yep, okay, uh, so there was one nearby. That's fine, that's fine. Okay, okay, strike one. Yes. Okay. I think the strikes are supposed to be per player, but when we're co-oping this, it doesn't really matter much. This is horrifying. Walk, walk <laughs> on back towards where the uh, the chest was, wherever you ended up. Uh, oh yeah, you're over here. Um, so if you want to take a chest, put three wool blocks around the outside, and then check that there's not a sensor or a shrieker behind, but... Okay, yeah, it looks like there is one in there that we need to take care of, huh? I'm just gonna break these two real quick. There we go. Yeah. Oh god, I'm not I'm not built for this. Yeah, um, no, <laughs> it's good, it's good. Um, <laughs> so yeah, with, with three wool around this, it should be safe enough to open it up. There's a silk touch hoe okay. in here, okay, perfect. I'm, I'm gonna use that nice. for the rest of this. And then there's I'll all the, the candles, candles that you'll want. I might grab the books and then, yeah, amethyst, whatever. Like, we'll, we'll figure it out. I'm not planning on taking absolutely everything from these, but... Um, now at least we can put a torch by this one and that will mark it as done. Okay, perfect. But there is another chest right here that had the two shriekers next to it. We have a, a knockback two book in there. A couple of candles for you. We'll grab the coal knockback and stuff two. as well. I guess I'll grab that. I've, I'm starting a little library. <laughs> yeah. And the echo shards are going to be useless here because the, that makes a recovery compass and we already... Right. hardcore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a, we're in hardcore and B, we have tombstones. So it's like, it kind right. of doesn't doesn't matter much either way. If we follow this path here, we'll go straight towards the middle. And that's oh. strike number, what, two, three? What are we I... on right now? Oh, that was three. If you find an area like this where there's multiple shriekers in an area, consider it like a, a little puzzle that we have to solve. We're kind of diffusing a bomb right now. Right. And so you want to either block off the sensors or the shriekers or both if you can manage it but just don't stand on top of any of them because uh yeah they will hear you doing that oh this is crazy man yeah yeah there's okay. there's, there's a lot that you got to manage that's all of them um i think if we take out the sensor that should prevent the shriekers from hearing it this one here yeah yeah take that one out nice okay, okay. uh should be safe to open the chest then because that was right, right next to it nice Cool. Right. I'll take the Echo Spoke Shards. Sensor. That's cool. Wow, Ooh. that's a good hoe. <laughs> Absolutely stacked hoe. That's awesome. So this is a uh, catalyst? What is yeah. this thing? Yeah, the catalysts are the things that spread the skulk if you kill a mob nearby. Believe it or not, they actually made it easier for you to deal with these areas since the update was being planned because it used to be that if you put a block down on skulk, they would hear it. <laughs> oh, even the wool? Yeah. But then they uh, they fixed that they fixed that later. Wow, six uh, six disc fragments. Yeah, that's How not many too bad. Do you need? Uh, eight, nine? I think. Uh, or maybe nine, maybe nine. I can never remember if like you can leave a hole in the middle because you feel like it's got a hole in the middle if it's a music right, disc. Right, right. 
yeah, let's uh, <laughs> grab some of this. I don't really need, like, the name tags or anything. But I have uh, 12 Echo Shards already, so that's enough for uh, one and a half recovery compasses just for the novelty. What have we got in here? Oh, we got one Shrieker down here, so we're going to keep an eye on that. It's buried in the floor as well, so that looks like one I'll need to remove. Okay. Oh, okay, we oh. caught one elsewhere. All right. Yep, I see it. I see it. It's right. Uh, oh, and there he is. Okay. Now okay. we run. Okay. Now we run. Oh, okay. We're running. We're running. And he's sniffing. Yes. Oh my god. I've Follow the seen. sound of my voice. <laughs> get, okay. get back towards the entrance if you can. The, the main thing is just put distance between yourself and the warden, either vertically or horizontally. I think he can okay. smell you within about 20 blocks. Um, <laughs> I could cry right now. <laughs> no, 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 it's, it's fine. We're, we're fine. We're fine. Don't even need to worry. Okay, I'm not panicking. <sighs> I think that the best part is if you get up here to the, the top part, we'll be able to get a better view of him. And it's just okay. fun to watch him, like, wandering around. Oh, it's fun, is it? Oh, it's very fun. <laughs> it's like a little Thanks nature documentary. <laughs> okay, so can you walk normally on the wool? Or do yeah, you yeah, you can. Crouching? As long as you're okay. on the wall, you're fine. All right, all right. Where's he at? I can't Wait. see him. I hear him. I certainly hear him. Oh, I see him. Oh, there he goes. I yeah, no, he's uh, he's digging back down. So that's that's oh, fine. He's, he's chill. So if he's digging back down, he doesn't care about us anymore. Yeah, yeah. That means he couldn't find us, and after about sixty seconds, he burrows back into the skulks. So. Oh, that's not so bad. Yeah, yeah. So we we okay. we're not just gonna leave him wandering around forever. Like he is just gonna yeah, gonna I disappear he was after gonna a while. Be here for a while. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's it's worse if you're near a cave system where like bats and stuff come out. Because if he hears a noise oh, and gets distracted, he just never goes away again. Yeah, slime chunk or something. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. How does this work now? Are we reset to three strikes, or is it like any noise will bring him back? Uh, basically, any noise will bring him back within about ten minutes. I got a regen uh, potion, destroy. a bunch of bones, a bunch of glow berries. Nothing really much good in this chest. All right, destroyed that shrieker. Nice. Yeah, you caught that one before I did. <laughs> I had no idea that one was there. Okay, and there's another one right over here. Um, I think it's alone, so I think I'm going to try to take it out. Sounds good. There's one Shrieker on top of this little altar thing here, but I think that one's far enough away that if we sneak, we don't need to worry about it. Okay. There's a lot of candles over here in this like hallway area. Yes, 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 yes. That's candle hotspot. You'll be getting okay. a bunch from there. I think there. I'm going to... I'm going to try and get the shrieker up here by the candles. Okay, sounds good. I've got another room over here that I'm going to raid. I'll bring back anything useful. Oh! <laughs> Picks. Picks. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Keep going. Stack. Keep running. I can't, I can't see. Oh, uh, ah. you're about to meet another one. Oh, there's going to be another one? Yep, yeah, uh-huh. Keep running. Oh, Keep running. Keep running, Mog. Keep running. Pix, where are you? I need your voice. Run, run, run. This way, this way. Oh my god, I can't see a thing. Uh, okay, he's, oh chas my, he's, he's chasing, chasing you. Me. Yeah, you need to run. You need to run real fast. Get vertical I'm just distance. I'm going up. I'm pillaring. Yep, do that. Okay. Oh, he hurt me so bad. You can keep running. Keep running towards the entrance. Oh. Uh-huh. Yep. <laughs> well. <laughs> so that could have gone better. I feel like that could have gone better. Also didn't notice this one here, so that's great. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure he's hearing something that's not me. Yep. Mm-hmm. I don't like not having eyes on him. <laughs> I don't know where he is. Over there somewhere. I don't understand why he's not leaving. I think it might have gone into a cave somewhere. <laughs> Unless Mog has somehow tried to possess it. Oh, okay. <laughs> That scared me, but I think he's gone. Okay, well, next job is to find out where Mog died and see if I have enough fate coins to revive him. Okay, he died right there. Next to a chest that I was about to look in, actually. Oh! <laughs> Do I hear a chicken? Are you... Are you serious right now? Yep, okay, cool, good. Yeah, yeah that's gonna be a problem for you, mate. I can't shift because I leave the body... <laughs> <laughs> yep, mm-hmm.
Okay, I think I think <laughs> Mog's ghost is currently getting pummeled by the warden. Okay, there are multiple wardens <laughs> looking for Mog's body. I don't like how close this one over here is getting, so I'm gonna distract it in the opposite direction if I can. Okay, the one in the distance is gone. The one over here is still here. Okay. I think we're in the clear. So I... <laughs> I need to get out and see if I have enough fake coins. <laughs> oh my goodness, 1DT is at the bottom of the hole. <laughs> Mog's best friend has come to see his demise. Okay, so the good news is I have two fake coins. Technically, I would be spending the one that I've reserved for Owen. Oh! <laughs> that scared the heck out of me. <laughs> okay, I have two fake coins, so I can revive you. Okay. But from that point on, we need to be very, very cautious. We're going back? I we're... don't think I can go back. Oh, we're absolutely going back. And also, one of these fake coins was reserved for Owen, so I, I don't know how we need to figure this out, but some way we probably uh, need to. I think I have one. My debt for Owen might transfer onto you in the case of you using this coin. Okay. Um, but okay, okay. Yeah, we're, we're going back in there because, I mean, for a start, I need to go back because your tombstone is down there. Yeah, I guess no matter what, you've got to go back. Yeah. Yes, yeah. So you, you've, you've kind of put me in a difficult situation here. <laughs> let's, let's see eye to eye here. I think, um, I think it should be fine down there. Um, we just have to crouch at all times and not break stuff unless we are absolutely 100% confident we're not going to get caught. The the room that I died in, you can see there's like literally no way out because he yes. knocked me into it from yeah, right yeah. So. And mm. uh, the, the other thing I've discovered is that the warden does not like player ghosts. <laughs> no, <laughs> there's... no, and I can't shift because I, I just exit the chicken. Yeah, if yeah. If I shift, mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah, so there is no way for me to crouch and not make noise. So I'll probably stay up here. Fortunately, my wings still have enough durability that I can float down there sort of safely. And then I think the trick from here is going to be to stay on the wool paths where at all possible. Can break out into areas like this because we know it's safe. <laughs> there is, there is your grave. Now, the main thing I want to check is that there aren't any shriekers around here that are going to go off when I revive you. I think just to be on the safe side, I might get rid of this one. Yeah, we're good over here. We're definitely good over here. I can walk around on this. No problem. All right, Mog, you're coming back. Here we go. Uh, okay. <laughs> you're okay. Thank you. We're good. Thank you. And you should okay. still have all of the wool and everything, so uh, hopefully yep, that'll be I all right. St still got everything. Um... You know, I realized another mistake I made. I think I never put on my chest plate. Ah, uh, yeah, that'd, that'd, that'd help. I don't know if it'd help for long, but... No, I might have been able to take one more hit. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, the trick, I think, is always to run for the wall pathways around here and then just try and put as much distance between you and him as you can. But obviously, like, this is a difficult place to get trapped in, so... Now, I, you do realize, now I'm tied with Jimmy for the most deaths. Yeah, yeah. I, I was wondering whether something like that would happen. I really shouldn't be here right now. All part of the game, all part of the fun. I'm so, I'm so scared. Oh, are you kidding me? They can hear full damage as well. That's, oh. uh, <laughs> your shins cracking is uh, another thing that they can hear, so. Can they hear eating? Yes. They can hear eating, oh. torches being placed, all of the stuff that usually helps with survival. How was your experience as a chicken? <laughs> I've, oh, I've, horrible. I've been there, <laughs> wasn't, wasn't the best time. I've still got feathers in my throat. Yeah, mm -hmm. at least you didn't lay an egg like I did. Ew. I'm so sorry. Uh, it's fine, it's fine. It's it's an experience I'll never get over, but, uh, you know, th these are the things that make <laughs> life rich. I think the main thing is I need to know my escape route. Yes, yes. Uh, I really just, once it went dark, I went complete panic mode. <laughs> yeah, that'll happen. So if you open that, you'll probably hear the piston noise from below. Oh, and, oh, and the shrieker noise from nearby. Okay, uh, run okay. this way, run this way. All right. Back down the uh, the avenue of candles, and then I think from here we are good. But stay sneak just in case. Yep. And we're now at observation range. You see how this okay. works? <laughs> it's chill. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I I don't know if this is worth oh, it. Okay. Oh, okay. God. Run. Run this way. Run this way. Okay. Keep running. Keep running. Why? What did I even step on? I was crouching. <laughs> Welcome to the it's... standard ancient city raiding experience. <laughs> I can't say I'm in love with it. This is, <laughs> my heart is pounding, dude. That's the oh idea. Oh my this, gosh. This is basically like doing a workout. This is, uh, you know, yeah, some people do P90X or whatever. I raid ancient cities. Yep, this is very taxing. The first warden, the one that killed you, stuck around for ages as well. And I was really worried that he'd like somehow got 
on my scent, but... You know why? Um, there's a zombie spawner in the wall. Oh, is there? Right. We must yeah. have tripped that at some stage, yeah, and like, it was just right hearing next them. to where I was at. Okay, well, here we have a little tower. I don't see anything further up, but it's probably best to pillar up with wool instead of using the ladders. Unbreaking and mending leggings, that's not bad. I think I might actually take, take those. Next room over, there's a couple of shriekers around there, so I'm going to take this one a little carefully. Quickly silk touch this. Nailed it. All right. So we can nice. drop down here, open this. Swift sneak three, sweeping edge one. Nice. All right. Well, Beautiful. as per our agreement, you can take that book to begin with, and then if we don't find another swift sneak, then uh, you can at least hook me up with uh, mending for the elytra. Absolutely. I'm making a little wrong. collection of skulk stuff <laughs> so that I can rebuild with it later. There is, I think, one more room over here, and then the rest of this is just all corridors and stuff. I think this one's fine. we just got coal and skulk blocks in here, nothing much else. Uh, surprisingly, we haven't found any of the really good stuff. There's no, like, golden apples yet. I mean, we found one Swift Sneak 3 book. Oh, so usually it's better. Yeah, usually you find some pretty good stuff. Because in my head, in I'm like, why would anybody ever come here? <laughs> <laughs> there's still there's still some stuff, like, like with the Echo Shards and whatnot, that I think will probably have more uses later. There's a Geode here, by the way, that's fun. Um, but yeah, I, I think eventually they're going to have more uses for, like, some of the obscure items down here. But for the moment, there's uh, there's not a whole lot. There's also all of those rumors about the portal. Yeah, yeah, eventually the portal's going to do something. And it's a, it's like a mob-proof caving experience. You just got to, you know, watch where you tread. Mob-proof, except for one. Yeah, well, one, one very notable mob. <laughs> well, I got a few more uh, candles for you here, so there's, uh, there's those. Oh, excellent. Thank you. And then we've got an altar over there. That I don't think that has a chest. And then this one is loaded with shriekers, so just be careful right here. But this should be fine to open. Uh, efficiency 5, I'm going to grab that because I need it for my dig. Efficiency 5 hoe in there as well. Okay, okay, and okay, okay, okay. Over here on the other side, swift sneak 3 and piercing 1. Nice! Yeah, hey, we both got what we awesome. wanted. And an, an efficiency 5 ho as well, so uh, yeah, perfect. We've got two Swift Sneak 1 books in there, so we can grab those and combine them, maybe. Uh, See, it's not go. so bad when we're not constantly spawning Wardens, right? <laughs> I think our mistake was splitting up, to be honest, because the second I was without you, I, <laughs> I made a lot of mistakes. <laughs> it's all about the buddy system down here. Uh, Unbreaking 1, Respiration 2 books in here. I don't know if I have Respiration on my helmet yet. I guess I don't, so I might actually use that. Oh! Unbelievable! Check this chest, man. No. We've we found possibly the thing that I wasn't expecting to get here, but very happy we have. Yo! Armor trim! Yeah, the silence armor trim as well. The difficult one to very find. Cool. So I'm, oh, I'm, okay, so there's multiple here? Uh, you get the ward or the silence armor trim. The ward is the slightly easier one to find. Silence is the uh, the one everybody loves. We only found one here, but there are... I, I've got six diamonds on me in this chest, so I can probably... Uh, probably copy that one for you. I haven't really messed with armor trim too much in my other worlds, but... Yeah, me either. Yeah. I mean, I guess you don't have as many structures for it in Super Flats, so... No, there's kind of a limited selection. Not yeah. all of them are great. Do you still get, like, pillager outposts and stuff, or is it just villages? There's a weird bug where if you update a Super Flat world from... 1.17 to post 1.18, you you get all the structures. I don't know what they forgot to do, but it like changes the structure flag somehow. Oh, fun. Okay. When you, when you upgrade, yeah. So, uh, I've got ruined portals, mine shafts, pillager outposts, strongholds, and villages. Nice. Well, there's another Pretty Swift Sneak 2 list. book in here, so that could combine with the other Swift Sneak 1s that we have. There's also a Depth Strider 2, and I think there was another Depth Strider 2. Yeah, so, I think I have that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so I can give you those. Am I safe to put a shulker, you think? Yeah, yeah, no, right here is no skulk at all. Whenever I think I'm sure, I'm like, I'm just gonna ask anyway. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's, that's, that's fair, considering you've already been killed by the warden once. <laughs> yep. Okay. Okie doke. So, so, how much of this have we covered? I'm, like, so turned around at this point. I think at this point we have covered, like, maybe three quarters of it. We're sort of on the final stretch okay. now. That's a fire protection three book and one echo shard. There's a couple more rooms, but where the daylight is is where my scaffolding oh. tower is, and that's basically the whole thing done. I feel like I'm starting to relax a little, but maybe that's a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't, don't let your guard down until we're out of here. Yeah. With only minor scratches and uh, too few of fake coins. I am pretty accident prone in this game, I will say. I mean, I've got to help a fellow chicken out. Oh, so, uh, yep, speaking of, let's uh, make our way over here for a second. Okay. It's always.
always the ankles breaking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's getting me. I might come back down here, though, just to mine some diamonds, because there's so many little pockets of diamonds in the walls. It's honestly, not a bad place to look for diamonds, because yeah, yeah. everything's so open. And there's no, just spot <laughs> no mobs to worry about, aside from the obvious, and... Uh, sooner or later, I'll probably sweep through here and clear out all of the Shriekers just to give myself an easier time when I inevitably have to dig this entire thing out. Oh. All right, sounds okay, like he's that's gone. that's him going back in, yeah? Yep, mm-hmm. All right, what a slimy noise that is. <laughs> it's real gross, right? And Swift Sneak 3, Respiration 2. Pretty good, I can combine that one then. Wow, nice. All right, one, one last room, right? I think this might be the one that me and Jimmy came down into when he dug out an area of this. <laughs> Because uh, he found this initially. He uh, dug out a three-block-wide section of my dig that turned out to be uh, directly <laughs> into an ancient city. What are the odds? Okay, nicely done. All right, Swift Sneak 3 again. Nice. Okay, I have a spare, so you, you can grab that one because I have a, a duplicate. Absolutely love to see it. All right. So, uh, that's a pants enchantment? Uh-huh, yep. Uh, crazy. Goes on the leggings. Imagine. <laughs> I think they put it, it on boots originally. So wrong. And then... Yeah. Uh, Oh, wait, no, we have one more room over here that's got two oh, chests in it. Yeah, so okay. I think I might want to grab a little bit of wool from the from the pathways down here. That's probably the best place to get oh, it. Oh, smart, smart. Yeah, the gray wool. We've been very paranoid, but that has meant that we didn't get killed again. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm sad I died, but yeah, I think it was kind of par for the course. <laughs> I mean, wor worth it for your first, first experience, time. right? Yeah. yeah. And it might as well be on a hardcore server that you can actually be revived in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow, look at all that diamond, dude. There's like four ores that I see mm -hmm. up there. Yeah, and there'll be a That's bunch great. in like the neighboring chunks that I'll probably get as I dig down here. Oh yeah, the other fun thing about this area is that occasionally in the little alcoves and stuff, you get uh, skeleton skulls. Oh yeah, I noticed one of those. Yeah, when you were reviving me, I saw one. So uh, there you go. Have that as a, a souvenir. <laughs> a souvenir of your Thank death. Thank you. And respiration one, cool. multi-shot, a couple of skulk things in here oh, but is this much. that uh enchanted golden apple that's amazing oh nice yeah the, the, <laughs> apple. i've genuinely hey, I seen make that banner pattern <laughs> i've genuinely seen some of these cities that give you like 12 notch apples like there are really <laughs> yeah they're, they're, there's genuinely like a little bit op some of them but this one was kind of stingy on those at least it gave us some stuff though so uh you want to break uh, out some of these candles before we get going yeah i think i will okay so uh technically we survived i mean <laughs> i don't know i don't know if that counts as like a hundred percent hey i'm still here aren't i yeah exactly right like what are you talking about i don't i don't see any deaths <laughs> if someone watched the beginning and then the end of this raid they'd never know right? they would never suspect a thing right but no thank you for joining me this was uh, a treat dude thanks for inviting me because i i legitimately would not have done this uh for the entire series i'm too much of a scaredy cat but <laughs> With uh, with your guidance, it was uh, doable. <laughs> yeah, do doable, just about, yeah. So uh, we'll head back up to the surface. I will dupe this silence armor trim for you before we go, because... Uh, oh, I, awesome. I feel, like, I feel like you've earned it at this point. And uh, if you feel we like... Can, uh, we can use my diamonds to dupe it as well. Oh, like sure. That. I mean, I, I, I have yeah. six as well, but uh, yeah, I, I have been making a lot of diamond pickaxes, so wherever I can spare them, that's uh, probably a good yeah, thing. Yeah, no, I'll... I'll get you on the diamonds for sure. <laughs> and uh, as far as the fake coins goes, like, I've been already helping in the hole, but I... Oh, oh my gosh! Ah! <laughs> Well, I'm 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 glad I flooded that one. Uh, I did that earlier today, and I'm. <laughs> oh, that totally surprised me. <laughs> like I was wondering why your voice suddenly cut out, and it turns out, yeah, you uh, you found the other hole. Oh, that was pretty. That was comedic timing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that'll be faster. Yeah, good good call. Um. What was I even saying? Uh, about the fake coins. I'll just do some more stints in your hole. I've been having a lot of fun digging it out, so. And if you feel like dropping over on breaking and mending books so that I can enchant my elytra, that'd be really swell of you. Oh, I'm so happy to be on the surface. Yeah, it, it is. Cry right it's now. like going to the <laughs> nether. It's like, wow, I didn't realize I missed blue sky quite this much. Until... It really is almost like a third dimension in the game. Yeah, it's yeah. It's like completely different. One oh, silence, you. silence template for you, sir. And that's... um probably a way to get the advancement right because i think you have to have yeah spire snout rib ward silence vex tide and wayfinder I, I think a couple of people might have those already but uh yeah we got the silence one legit so pretty happy with that well what are you doing now uh probably going back to digging to be honest with you i feel like that's enough excitement for me for one day what well, would you like to take a quick trip to spawn to see my new shop because oh I'd love to show yeah you. yeah yeah i've been meaning to check everything out and uh and and sign a few books yeah, we got these candles, and I would love to come away with my first signature from this. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. This is my new place. 
This is my candle shop. Oh, um, dude. This is adorable. I love the build. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I stayed up all night. <laughs> um, so we got two diamonds per stack for honey. Nice, nice. We got nice. one diamond for three stacks of honeycomb. I wanted to undercut Scott. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. And then uh, shortly, we're going to open up. Uh, you can come on in, but I actually oh. think, uh, what do you think about this for the for the skeleton skull like right up here? Nice. Yeah, I like that. Not like bad, that. right? <laughs> it's like right, having a little shop it. shop watchdog. <laughs> Keeps an eye on the yeah. place. So these are going to be all the different colors of candles, hopefully. So nice. I'll go ahead and put the white ones in there <laughs> once I... Dude, once I have very more. cool. Wow, what, do you, what do you reckon I should put the price at for colored candle, like pre-dyed candles? I feel like probably a diamond a stack. There's a bit of work diamond involved stack, in them, yeah. right? Like there's, there's, you know, you've got to get string for it and everything. And yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah you've, got to, you've, got to, you've got to price those... I think according to the effort that you put into making them. So I think a diamond a stack is pretty reasonable. Maybe it's a diamond per stack for the undyed ones, two diamonds per stack for the dyed ones. Yeah, that makes sense. You can, yeah. That, that, that way it's like, if you want to dye them yourself, you can save the diamond. Yeah, provide but your own dyes like, kind of thing, yeah. Yeah, if you really want the convenience, then you can just go get your own dye. Well, yeah, that's that's it so far. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, so I'll, uh, I'll pop my signature in. Uh, Thank you so much, <laughs> dude. You're the first one to check it out, so <laughs> I appreciate it. And you got the... I, I had to go on a crazy adventure to get the spore blossom, too, just for the atmosphere. The oh, dude, guns. yeah. There are, like, no lush caves anywhere near spawn, so I I, I, <laughs> I entirely relate. And the color wheel out here is something I didn't even notice. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. This is, like, uh, the big wax potion pot. I don't know. Mm -hmm. This is where they're mixing up the hot wax. You got, you got like, a stirrer and everything. Yeah, like, I... Yep, yep, that's my stirring wand. Yeah, I, I, am, I am slightly <laughs> worried that lightning is going to strike this and set off the TNT. <laughs> <laughs> the TNT. <laughs> well, I had to make sure that uh, target blocks like don't uh, diagonally power. Yeah, I was like, right. If someone, if a, if a skeleton stray arrow, yeah, yeah. Hits somebody, that somebody target, just like shoots that. <laughs> yeah, it's it's uh, flame arrow all would over. be would be pretty bad, but mm -hmm. I'm just gonna hope that nothing happens. Yeah, but no, dude, this rules. Happy to be the uh, the first person to vouch for your shop, and I need to come back to spawn and take a proper look around later and see yeah, who else it, needs my. My sign it's come on. a long way in the past few days, mm -hmm. honestly. All right. Well, All right, I'm going to. Well, thank you, man. Yeah, I'm going to get back to the dig and uh, probably dig out more areas above that ancient city. <laughs> yeah. Good luck, man. Thanks for that adventure. And the following day, I was just getting ready to hop down and continue the dig. But what do I find? Another delivery balloon. So this must be from Mog Swamp. I'm working on this chunk here that is relatively close to the edge of the circle. And now I have Swift Sneak. I'm getting around a little bit faster when I crouch, and that's making things slightly disorienting, so I'm glad that Mog seems to have come through with the books that I requested. There it is, Unbreaking 3 and Mending for the Elytra. I've already half worn out this Elytra and getting Phantom Membrane to repair it and having it become eventually too expensive to repair is just not a cost I want to deal with in this series and Elytra have such low durability compared to the tools I'm using here. So I think with Unbreaking and Mending that's going to go a long way. I also asked Mog to drop off a couple more Efficiency 5 books if he was able and it looks like he's come through with that request as well. What a gentleman. Of course the additional benefit for me is that I no longer feel weird about clearing out any of the area of the circle under which the ancient city resides so I don't have to worry too much about taking out skull shriekers down there and changing what would be the default experience of an ancient city now I can just go ahead and dig some more of that area a little later but in the meantime I have at least one fate coin to replenish because I still owe Owen a fate coin if he should die and right now I can't follow up on that so I want something to at least stock up on my fake coins and of course what we learned in the last episode was that whoever kills the dragon earns a fake coin for the achievement you get for freeing the end which i don't actually have yet because I haven't taken down the dragon myself. But first things first, how much do I need to enchant this elytra? Just six levels, it's done. And as you can see, I've got a little uh, sugarcane farm set up over here already, so I should be able to make plenty of firework rockets with this happening in the background. And of course, the creepers that spawn in the pit at night are going to provide 
adequate gunpowder for my personal needs. I will make sure my elytra gets repaired, of course, and I put these leggings together with the unbreaking and mending, a swift sneak book, and the protection three book that I had in my enchantment chest. So we finally have some leggings that are going to be our leggings for the foreseeable future and have no chance of breaking with that mending enchantment. Anyway, I'm going to head on down to the bottom of this dig, especially now I should be able to rocket my way out of here. We're going to continue moss mining in this area and I'll see how much of this I can get taken care of today. So a little while later, I've been doing a lot more digging. We've got a whole area here which is now being worked on. The third chunk, that one there, is the one I'm currently moss mining out, and it's going pretty well so far. It's taking a bit of a toll on my Silk Touch pickaxe for the moment, but I got one in reserve. And the main thing I need to do right now is head over to Spawn and take a look at everyone's shops and ventures over there, because I have not really been over to Spawn all that much since Whip established the beacon shop and then we went to raid the end, so I really need to get over there and see if I can apply my signature to some books. And on the way, I'm looking at our nether situation and thinking, this isn't really a nether hub, it's a loose collection of blocks with no real organization to it. So that's going to lead into my plan. Because while I am contributing to Whip's Beacon Shop, I did say that it really feels like he's put the effort into establishing it at spawn, and I'm just here to collect profits occasionally and restock. So let's take a quick look in here at how much has sold. Obviously, we have the shop dog here as well, and I guess some potatoes. It's kind of weird, but anyway. Oh, people have already been buying beacons. That's incredible. Well, 18 of those diamonds are, of course, owed to Fwip. Nobody has been buying the wither kits at all, not even to get the spare bundles. So I guess that's not a venture that people have really decided to go for. But either way, <laughs> we've got some wither skeleton and skeleton individually in there as well. I think at least having sold a few beacons, that's a good idea. Maybe I'll take the wither kits to the end myself and get working on producing some more beacons for the shop. But I already applied my signature to that in the early days, and it looks like it's got all the signatures it needs to, so that's awesome. Now let's take a look around Spawn and see what else everyone else has done. Next to Mythical Sausages Tavern, which I am confident is going to have enough signatures in there, we've got this little truck. Whose is this? Is this part of the tavern or is this something else? Oh, it's a little food truck. Incredible. I might actually use this if there's still some food around, although that seems to be... Yeah, okay, that's part of Sausage's build in general. I like the color scheme on it. It's nice. Alongside that, we have a graveyard, and this is going to be pretty useful, actually, considering that a few people have definitely died a fair bit. Uh, Jimmy is on three deaths. I believe Mog Swamp is now on four. I'm right next to Mog with one death, and the majority of the other people on the server have actually survived this long. We revived Lizzie the other day, Sausage and Eloise have also taken a death each, and Ollie has taken a couple, but basically everybody else has still survived, which is really impressive. So I don't know whose build this is, I believe it might have been Jimmy, but there's also a podium here with Mog having taken the most deaths, Jimmy there, and then Ollie in third place. Well, I will add my vote to this. I think it's definitely worth signing off on this one. You know me, I love something that feels reverent towards the concept of death, <laughs> so that just seems to be my MO, I suppose. Well, whoever's that is definitely gets my vote. Now, this is an archaeology shop, it looks like. We got a little pet sniffer. I would love the sniffer to be name tagged, but I already signed off on this one because, of course, again, it's hitting my interest. It's archaeology. I think I came by on a stream and took a look at this one, so I definitely added in my signature there, and there's a little archaeological dig site kind of simulating the trail ruin there. I really like that. Over here on this side, what do we have? It says F in here. Joel's free stuff. Take whatever you want. Please only take what you need. There's quartz. There's turtle eggs. Oh, Ooh, there's shroom lights, very nice. Ed shroom lights, apparently. <laughs> and there are some community chests where people can donate some spare items, which I'm certain I will be able to because I have so much cobblestone and tough and interesting building materials that I won't need to rebuild my little dig area out in the sky. So there's definitely going to be an opportunity to donate to some of this small drip leaf, though. Oh, that's nice. And some quartz in case anybody wants that for comparators and whatnot. I presume Joel has been gathering XP with that. Well, yeah, since I plan to donate to this, I might as well sign off on having used it as well. This little pink build behind here is, I guess, Scott's stable. I'm fairly certain that's what this is for. So you can just ride a horse on in here and the horse should not escape. I'm trying to find where the book is 
videos for it, though I'm not seeing the book anywhere around, so hopefully that means that it's already been fully approved. I know Fwip said that we could always turn these in early if we got enough signatures, so maybe Scott's already done that. This is Shovel's Interior Design Services. Got a small or large space that's lacking interesting furniture and decorations. I got the service for you. You worked so hard on the building, let me take care of the vibes inside. Okay, so we can sign off there. Well, here's the thing. I don't really have any interiors to design. I love the initiative, and I like the fact that there is a little, like, display showroom kind of idea here, where there's a few fun details, a little kind of hanging decorations and stuff like that. Using some ancient debris as decor is actually pretty, pretty pricey, I want to say. And it looks like Shovel needs a couple of signatures, so you know what? I'm going to give this one a signature as well. You can probably sense a trend here. I'm just going to be nice to everybody. <laughs> that tends to be my vibe in general. I've already signed off on the Beacon Shop, of course, is this Catherine's Food Truck. Yeah, Catherine's Spawn Edition. This looks like it's selling milk, cake, and cookies. Of course, Catherine would be handling the sweets. We'll sign off on that one as well. Lovely, lovely. Oh, this is Scott's General Store. Okay, so maybe the stable over there was something completely different. Or maybe he decided to pivot a little bit when he wanted to add a general store to the area. Well, that's only missing one signature so far. Let's take a quick look inside. Deal of the week. Oh, <laughs> there's a grindstone attached to the front of that. Interesting. So you can buy 32 grindstones for a diamond. I suppose if you want those for decoration, that makes a lot of sense. There's anvils in here. That's actually pretty useful. Lanterns, yeah, and cauldrons. Interesting. I guess if you wanted to set up a quick lava farm, cauldrons would be pretty handy. We've also got some campfires. I will need to buy some honeycomb. I might actually dip into my supplies of diamonds and grab some honeycomb. And that's 64 for one diamond. Very nice. We've got the cactus there as well for a diamond. Yeah, I think this deserves my vote. So Scott now has a full book of signatures. So Scott is owed that coin already. The debate settling ring. Oh, this is Owen, and he's already got all the signatures he needs, so I won't bother adding my name to this one. But yeah, Owen has apparently set up a fight arena, which seems like a wild thing to do on a hardcore server, but... I guess maybe people yield after a certain point, and that's when they decide who has won the debate. It will come as no surprise to anybody to learn that this is Ollie the Orion Sound's contribution to Spawn, uh, <laughs> a sculpture. And of course, Ollie being the artistic man that he is, he is a multimedia experience. So I guess we have to sign here as an art connoisseur. Hmm, the beauty of the pig standing on its hind legs, reminiscent, in fact, of the origins of creepers, which started off as a deformed pig model that was accidentally created walking on its hind legs. Unlike the hostility of the creeper, though, the flower crown here and the jewelry represent an artistic spirit and a sense of peace. There we go. I think I've probably fulfilled my art connoisseur role there. There we go. <laughs> Ollie gets a signature as well. Apparently a TNT and rocket shop is coming soon here so somebody's got to build that in the next few days because we are actually really close to the deadline for all of this to be done. Oh, this is Joey's prison, right. <laughs> We've got to approve as well as writing our signature. And you know what? There have definitely been some people worthy of imprisoning in the last little while, especially Joey himself starting that raid over at Sausage's base before we go and fought the Ender Dragons. So yeah, I think I will say that I approve as well. I'm going to capitalize this though, because I find the lowercase stuff incredibly disconcerting. This actually looks a little dangerous if you've got a trapdoor immediately above a pit of lava. But I suppose this is like the public humiliation area where people can stand and we can throw tomatoes at them and stuff. Well, we've already been to see Mog Swamp's shop. I applied my signature to that nice and early. And I honestly think Mog did a spectacular job of the color palette on this build. I really love the way that looks. But hopefully I've managed to give a signature to everybody who needs it. And now on to my contribution, because I did originally build this portal and we put all of the copper and stuff around the outside of this. I'm thinking we're going to take a copper approach to the nether hub as well. And stepping back on through to the nether, there is really not a great deal of infrastructure in here. It's not a very pleasant experience. The soul sand valley around here is quite dangerous. You occasionally get ghasts shooting in at you and this combination of cobble and stone and oak wood, it all feels very early Minecraft, and I want to change that. There are a couple of other people who are using the Nether Hub regularly, like Sausage has a portal over there that links to a lot of other folks, and I imagine there are a few other portals dotted around the place that people still try to get to. So what I think I want to do is set up a nice spawn-proof area in this Soul Sand Valley, providing a few tunnels out to where players might want to make portals to, a safe space for people to step into the Nether, and potentially a bit of nicer decor than what we have going on right now. So I'm going to head back to my dig. I'm going to bring all of the copper that I've got 
gotten from the dig, which is a great deal at this point. And I think we're going to combine that with moss. I've also got tons of natural stone and andesite that we can work into it, maybe throw in a bit of mossy stone brick or cobblestone as well. But we can use moss carpet for spawn proofing inside of there alongside stone slabs and maybe some slabs of copper as well. Perhaps we'll throw in some dark oak wood for a nice warm brown color as well. But I think it's going to be a lot nicer traversing the nether with an organized looking nether hub. Okay, it's some time later, and I'm now working on another chunk. This is the one that's immediately next to the geode <laughs> that we managed to dig out. I think this one happened on a stream, but it leads down to the ancient city like many of the chunks by the wall do. But I love the fact that we are now exposing this opened up geode so that we can see that at a distance. And I've now gotten a bunch of work done on the nether hub. I wouldn't say it's necessarily 100% finished. There are still a couple of tunnels I want to make around the outside just to make sure that the whole thing doesn't get blown up by ghasts and I probably want to put a few more ghast proof materials around the outside but let's go check it out and into the nether hub we go where as you can see we have put the copper and moss and other materials that I could gather easily to good use we have these little planters around the place mythical sausages portal had to be moved slightly since it was in the radius of the circle that I was working with so that is still out here in the corridor and I'm hoping that people will open up some of these corridors a little bit more maybe decorate them and connect them to any other portals that they've made around the server. There's only one other close by that I know of, which is what that portal leads down to, and I'm fairly certain that leads down to Fwip's area, but he's kind of opposite where Mythical Sausage is, and I'm over on this side, so spawn sort of connects everybody, as typically happens in this kind of hub-style design. I'm going to step on through to spawn just to see if anybody has taken any time to sign the book yet. The book has been there for all of about 24 hours, but hey, we have three signatures now, so that's perfect. Hopefully, we should be able to get a few more before the challenge ends, and we should be able to get a fake coin out of that. But I think that is where we're going to leave this episode of Minecraft SOS, folks. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this one. A little bit of action and a lot of collaboration happening here, so really happy to be continuing to make these episodes and staying alive for the most part. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. My name has been Pixel Riffs. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you folks soon. Take care. Bye for now.